what's going on everybody out there on youtube again this is kent um i am coming at you guys again with another youtube video and in this video what i want to talk about this afternoon um i want to talk about depression again you know uh feeling unwanted feeling like a loser feeling rejected all the time you feel that you'll never be able to find a relationship or things like that just find just finding somebody you know to like you for who you are and accept you for who you are and things like that so i just feel that you know i just want to make a video and i just not just want to talk about that man you know with me you know i really feel you know that i i really don't stand a chance when it comes to dating and things like that man because I, I just know that i'm a loser and i know that i'm a nice gentleman i consider myself a nice gentleman i know that i know that i'm gonna get my kindness taken for weakness you know i know i'm gonna get taken advantage of i know i'm gonna get bullied i'm gonna get laughed at by women and i just know that they're just gonna dog me out and just label me as a loser man i already know this man you know, it seems like every woman that I talk to, man, they do, they does this, man. They they lie and all that stuff. They'll make up lies and try to use you for your money and things like that. I really feel that, you know, I, I don't stand a chance, man. I, I feel so unwanted in this world, man, because no woman wants a nice gentleman. You know what I'm saying? No woman wants a nice gentleman, man. I, and I just feel, I just really feel that, you know, I, I, I just don't stand a chance. Nice gentlemen don't stand a chance, man. I don't stand a chance because I'm a loser a reject a big no good loser that's exactly what I am is a loser L O S E R loser I don't want to yell so loud I don't want the neighbors to hear me but I, I I'm a loser man I was born a loser I, I was just meant to be a loser man you know what I'm saying I just feel you know some some men were meant to be loved by a woman some men were not meant to be loved by a woman when it comes to dating and relationships and things like that when it comes to dating and relationship what I mean by when it comes to dating and relationships you know men you know some men stand a chance you know some men just don't stand a chance man because I just feel that you know Women are just evil, you know what I'm saying? Women are evil, women are cruel, women are mean, you know what I'm saying? They don't care. They don't care about a nice gentleman's feelings. Women don't care about my feelings, man. I'm, I'm just going I'm just being straight up honest about it, man. I know I don't stand a chance. You know, I feel unwanted. I have to wake up every single day feeling worthless, feeling like a piece of crap, feeling unwanted and things like that. I have to wake up every single day just feeling so unwanted. I have to go out in public, you know, and women look at me and they just, they just shake, they shake their head. Yes, I'm not lying to you guys. I'm telling you guys the truth. One girl looked at me and she just shook her head at me. Like, why you shake your head at me? You don't disrespect me. You just going to look at me up and down and just shake your head. What kind of crap is that? Stuff like that is frustrating. People want to tell me to be confident, be myself, think highly of think highly of myself and things like that. I feel, let me say this too, I feel that anybody, and I mean anybody who thumbs down my video, you're obviously closed-minded because you don't understand. That's why you thumbs down the video. You stupid idiot! Why nowadays, here in 2015, here in 2015, why do women have to just be so cruel to men, man? Rejecting them in mean ways, giving fake phone numbers. I, I mentioned this before. I, I did not mention this up here on my new channel, but I did mention, I did mention this um, a couple times on my old channel. How um, I liked this girl. This um, I liked this girl who worked in the mall where I, where I live at. She worked in the mall, public mall, and things like that. She worked for. Um, Direct TV, you know Direct TV, the cable company. Yeah, she worked for Direct TV, and I tried to talk to her and things like that. I asked for her phone number, you know. And I, I was excited, you know. So I was real excited, you know. Um, she had, um, you know, because she acted like she was, it. She she acted like she was very in interested in me, you know. She acted like she was very interested in me, you know. I, I was interested in her, and I showed. I guess I showed her that I was interested in her, and she she acted like she was interested in me. She acted like she really liked me. She acted, she acted like she really felt 
she was digging me, you know what I'm saying? And you know what she gonna do? I asked for her phone number, right? I said, you know, give me, you know, I, it's okay if I can get your phone number. And she gave it to me. She gave it to me. She wrote it on my hand one time. She wrote her phone number on my hand. And I said, I'll call you tonight. And she, she like, okay. You know, acting like she was all interested in me. Act like, you know, she was all excited and things like that. And you know what she gonna do? I called, you know, when I got home that, when I got home that, that, uh, that day, when I got home from the mall that day, I called that number later later in the evening when it, when the, well, of course when it got nighttime and things like that. I had called that number and you know what you know, and you know what she going to do? She going to give me a fake phone number. A fake phone number. It was fake. It was disconnected. That's that's a woman rejecting the guy in a mean cruel way. And you don't do that to people. That's very disrespectful. Man, just me, just me thinking about it. It just it pisses me off, man. Cause you, you don't you don't do that to a guy. Cause that could really tear a guy down mentally. I'm sure some of you guys out there relate to me. I'm sure I'm not the only one who goes through this. Rejection can really mess with a guy mentally. It really can. I don't care who likes it or don't like it. It's the truth. I'm telling you guys the truth. A lot of guys will try to hide, you know, they'll say that, you know, oh, rejection doesn't bother me, you know, you know, it don't bother me. I'll just move on to the next chick. Yeah, yeah, you should move on to the next chick, to the next girl, to the next woman, whoever. But, um, but deep down, you know, deep down inside your heart, deep down inside your soul, mentally, that rejection, it does bother you, man. You feel bad deep down, but a lot of guys, you know, do the best they can to hide their feelings and hide their emotions. I'm not ashamed to hide my feelings, to hide my emotion. That's why I make these YouTube videos, man. I'm not ashamed to hide my feelings and hide these emotions. That's why I do these vlogs. Because I, ha I have a voice. I have a voice. I'm, and I'm being completely honest and I'm being completely open with you guys up here on camera. Up, uh, I'm being honest with you guys to the whole entire world because YouTube is, YouTube is international. Anybody could come and watch my video wherever you live at in this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed to come up on here and, and talk about my problems, you know, especially when it comes to dating. Those are my member, those are my number one problems, you know what I'm saying? Just struggling just to, you know, find a woman and things like that. It's because in 2015, man, this rap music that they have out nowadays, man, has, it has brainwashed a lot of women. It really has brainwashed a lot of women to thinking that, hey, you know, that 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 thug life is okay. You know, that, that thug life is the way, you know, guys walk around with pants sagging, uh, uh, selling weed, selling dope on the streets and things like that. Guy fake diamonds and gold teeth and all that crap in their mouth and things like that. It has the rap music has brainwashed. The media has brainwashed a lot of women into thinking that you know guys like that are attractive, man. I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. You know, I just feel that you know they just you know um, we're we're thrown under the, we're thrown under the bus, man. We we don't we don't you know you know nobody cares about a nice gentleman nowadays. Because if you're a nice gentleman out there like myself, like myself, if you're a nice gentleman nowadays. Are you gonna do? You might be a, you might be able to find a woman, but you're gonna you know what's gonna happen? Either she just she's not with you for who you are. She's with you for your money, and she's gold digging you. You know what I'm saying? She's using you and take. She's gonna take advantage of you. I feel that. I feel that nine times out of ten, that's exactly what happens when a woman is with a nice gentleman. Either she's trying to use him, or take advantage of him, or take his kindness for weakness. That is the straight up truth. The straight up truth, man. And that has happened to me, man. I didn't know better at the time. You know, I used to, I used to give girls my hard earned money to get back to some no good, sorry thug. Who's lazy to go out and get a job and work for his own money, but they want my money. Why do people want my money? I worked hard for my money. And you want to go and take it from me? That's basically stealing from somebody, man. A woman using a guy for his money, that's basically a woman stealing from, a, from another guy. Stealing a, another guy's a nice gentleman, stealing his hard-earned money to give back to some no good sorry thug, so he go and buy weed with that money. That's exactly what happens nowadays, man. Oh, you get mad at me all you want is, but you can thumbs down all you want is, but that just shows how close-minded and how stupid you are. But you know deep down, you know deep down that I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the straight-up truth. 
I just feel, you know, me, Kent, me, Kent, me, as for myself, me, I don't stand a chance, man. I know, I know no woman want to date a guy like me. Oh, no. Why would a woman want to date a loser like me? Women take advantage of me because I'm a loser and I'm a reject. Why would a woman want to date a loser like me? If I was a woman, I sure wouldn't date myself. I want to date, who wants to date that loser? He's a loser. Look at him. He's weak. Just look at him. Just look at him from head to toe. He's a weak man. He's a loser. And no woman wants to date a loser. If I was a woman, I wouldn't even date myself. Because I'm a loser. A big loser. It is what it is, man. I'm not meant to be loved by any woman. I'm a loser. And all you guys out there who are, who are who are watching this video, you guys are all winners, man. You guys are all winners, and I'm a loser. I, I lose at everything. I'm, I'm nothing but a big strikeout. Strike three. You're out. You're out. Strike three. That's exactly what I am. It's a strikeout and a loser and a big reject. I am the king of rejection. You see this? You take, well, you take the S. You take the S off of my hat. Not the Sacramento Kings. I am the, I am the king. The king of rejection, man. The king. Not the Sacramento Kings. Me. I am the king of rejection. Anybody, any guy who say that rejection doesn't bother them. They're lying to them. They lie. They're lying to themselves because rejection does bother you. You could get mad at me all you want. You could thumbs down all you want. You know what I'm saying? But I might get more thumbs down than thumbs than thumbs up on this video, man. I really don't even care, man. I'm gonna say how I feel, man. Whether people like like it or not, you know what I'm saying? It's just an opinion. It's just my opinion. Okay? You don't have to agree with me. But I'm going. But I do have a voice, and I'm gonna say how I feel, and I'm gonna speak my mind, whether people like it. Or not. You know, me getting rejected. Me dealing with rejection. I, um, you know, deep down, I get depressed when I get rejected. Yes, yeah, so I'm not the only one who gets all sad and depressed because, you know, uh, we get rejected and things like that. You know, I'm not the only guy. So, guys, please be honest with me. Don't, don't lie to yourself and come on my videos and attack me. Don't do this to me. You know deep down that rejection bothers you. Me as for, me as for myself, rejection bothers the crap out of me. I get sad sometimes. I feel so bad. You know, I don't even know what to do, man. I, I feel so bad I want to commit suicide sometimes. I have suicidal thoughts. Oh, can't stop being selfish. I'm not being selfish. If you've been rejected over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, that can lead to depression. That can lead to suicidal thoughts. It can. I feel like a loser, man. Every single day. I'm a loser when I when I get up and go to work. Yeah, this loser about to go to work. Oh, when uh, this past New Year, we're like we're 15. Uh, is it today January 15? I believe we're 15 days into 2015. All right, 15 days ago, you know, ha people tell me, "Can't Happy New Year?" Yeah, Happy New Year to a loser. My birthday, Happy birthday to a loser. Ha ha Halloween, Happy Halloween to a loser. I'm just a loser, man. I don't stand a chance. Not, you know, nice gentlemen don't stand a chance. And women don't appreciate nice gentlemen. They appreciate a guy who had, who is a thug, a guy who has that, you know, that, that, that thuggish type of demeanor, man. A guy who goes out and he just throws his life away, man. Women appreciate guys like that. Women still a nice gentleman's hard earned money to give that, to give back to some no good sorry thug. So he could go out and sell weed and sell dope and cocaine. It's, it's not right, man. It's not right. That just shows you how life isn't unfair. Well, the reason why I say life is unfair, the dating scene isn't unfair, is because women 
they these they put up with these with these thugs, these 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 bad boys, these criminals and things like that, and, and they and they pass up these nice gentlemen like myself. That's that's why it's, that's why it's not fair. Cause I feel that you know this world should be straight. This world shouldn't be backwards. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be backwards. It should be forwards. You know what I'm saying? These women should go after you know the nice gentleman, but women don't want that. Cause when women see nice gentlemen like myself as boring, lame, weak, and a loser, man. I'm just a loser. I'm just a big loser. You know, it, I wish this world would just be forward, man. Be forward, excuse me, but it's not forward, it's backwards. And I blame the rap music. This trashy rap music that they got out nowadays, man, calling women bees and hoes and sluts and tramps and all this, all this kind of, all these derogatory names. You know what I'm saying? Women still put up with them thugs, man. Women want a man that's roughneck. Women want a man who's going to go upside her head. Women want a man who's going to abuse them, treat them right, slap them across the face, give them a couple black eyes, a bloody nose. You know, women want a man. Women want a man, a guy who's going to throw her over a bridge and land in the river so all the, all the alligators and crocodiles can eat her alive. Women want, a, women want a man like that. Women just want a straight up, dirty, mean, nasty, dusty looking, disgusting type of dude. Women don't want a clean cut. A clean cut, nice gentleman who has his stuff together. Women don't want a man like that, dog. I'm sorry, man. I'm telling you guys the truth. Any, 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 any person who tell me women do like nice gentlemen, they do. And I had I had some women tell me, oh, can women, we do like nice gentlemen. Stop lying to me. That's all people want to do is lie to me. Lie to my face. And don't listen to don't listen to that crap that people tell you. How how women do like nice gentlemen. Women don't like nice gentlemen today till they get in their 40s, man. Late 30s, early 40s. That's when women start to like nice gentlemen, man. Anybody who tell you that women like nice gentlemen, they're lying to your face, man. Don't listen to people's lies. I will tell you the truth. All right? I appreciate anybody who listens to me and actually tries to understand where I'm coming from, man. I will tell you the truth. Most people in this world will lie to you. They will lie to your face. But I will come up here on YouTube. I'll talk about my problems. And I'll tell you guys the truth, man. I speak the truth. I speak the truth. And other people will speak lies. I speak the truth. Yeah, I just feel like a loser, man. Just, I, I feel like a loser, man. I just, you know, I, 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 you know, still, I'm still struggling with my depression and things like that. I just feel like a loser, man. I, I just feel so unwanted, man, nowadays, man. I feel so unwanted. And, you know, a lot of people will say this to another thing if I close out this video. A lot of people say, hey, there's somebody out there for everybody. There's not somebody out there for everybody. There was somebody out there for everybody. I guarantee, I guarantee you that nice gentlemen would be in relationships. They'll be married and things like that. They'll be engaged. If there was somebody out there for everybody, I really feel that is a lie. You know, there isn't somebody out there for everybody. When it comes to dating and relationships, there isn't somebody out there for everybody. There isn't. I'm, not, I'm sure there isn't somebody out there for me, man. Some guys, some guys were just meant to lose, and some guys were meant to, some guys were meant to win. But let me say this: you guys are winners, and I'm a loser. I'm, a, I'm nothing but a loser. You guys are winners. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, but I, I just tried to say, you know, all all the things that I can say. You know, but it's the truth, man. It is, it is nothing but the truth. You know, some guys were meant to have it. Some guys were meant to not have it. You know, some women are, some, some guys are meant to be attractive. And some guys were meant to be unattractive. And I'm more on the unattractive side, man. You know, it is what it is. I'll never get a chance to call girl my girlfriend. A girl will never get her chance to call me her boyfriend. No, I'll never get that chance because I'm a loser and no woman wants to date a loser. I feel so unwanted. You know, I'm not, I'm sure not, I hope, I hope I'm not the only one who feels this way. I'm sure there are other guys out there who can relate, but if you want to thumbs down all my videos and clown me, go right ahead, man. I don't even acknowledge, you know, 
I don't even acknowledge, I don't even acknowledge people who leave those stupid comments under my videos, man. But that's all I gotta say. I'm running out of time on this video. I'm almost to 20 minutes. My camera can only record up to 20 minutes, then it'll start all over again. <laughs> start from zero minutes to zero seconds. But that's all I gotta say. Peace.